Hi, Yarny friends. Um, this is Mare from um, Runaway Needle Red. Uh, my name is AKA Marianne. And I am showing you right now a hat I made for um, a girl, I think a 17 year old girl called Alex. I found out about Alex from Cynthia's Joyful Creations. Cynthia has a um, video called Butterfly Kisses for Alex. Alex is going through um, some major health problems and she's, I believe, having chemo. And she's rather cold and her mom, Bree, who also has a channel, calls Bree Little, Bree's Little Yarn Corner, um, was looking for some extra hats and um, gloves or fingerless gloves or just warm things in order to make Alex a little bit more comfortable as she goes through her sessions. Anyway, um, Alex's favorite character is Lilo and Stitch, and I happened to catch a live of Cynthia's, and I have been putting on um, these little charms on some of my knitted hats, okay, and I had a Lilo and Stitch charm. So I made this slouchy hat, okay, with a nice big fluffy pom-pom, which is attached with a, um, a button on the inside so it can be removed okay um for alex and so that's the first thing i wanted to share with you today so um the um, the charm comes off and can be taken off for um a, what do you call it um it just pops in in between the stitches and can be taken off for washing and this is um red heart uh the bottom one is actually, this is jazzy, um, left over from something else I made with the Red Heart Ombre called Jazzy, and I don't remember the color of um, this Red Heart. I have a whole bunch of my labels um, that I will take a look at and see if I can find you the color a little bit later, and a nice just big black pom-pom-pom. Okay, anyway, so that's that one piece. I also got a kick out of making this one so much that I decided I was going to make a gift set of these. So I made a, a little less slouchy one, okay? Um, well, they're both slouchy. One with a bright, a lighter pom-pom pink. One with a brighter pink pom-pom and the brighter version of the jazzy on the bottom for two sisters. And then I made um, a solid colored, well, not a solid colored, but um, without the pink jazzy on the bottom of it with a big gray pom-pom, okay, for their mom, my niece. Um, and these are the, the double-sided knitted hats. Um, so I have that collection. And for um, my nephew by marriage, for Mark, I found a a nice pretty uh, solid blue electric blue this is Vanna's choice and I have to tell you from Lion Brand and I'm just loving Vanna's choice for stitch definition for hats it just wears so well it may seem a little bit pricier than Red Heart but I really think you get ni a nice quality um, product after it so this can be slouchy or not depending on how he wants to wear it so I have those four hats going out to some family and a new friend. So um, those, I'll put those aside, okay. And then I have um, a hat I made for my nephew, nephews. I have uh, a couple of nephews. So this is also Vanna's Choice. This is Cambridge, okay. Um, it's, I made a gift set for it, which I can't find um a while back and i loved it and i had uh two skeins and a little bit left so i made um two additional men's hats men seem to like knitted hats way more than they do like crocheted hats so there are those two okay um for my brother-in-law this is also vanna's choice um this is in the denim and again it's a slouchy. It doesn't have to be worn that way. But, um, and 
it really gives you nice stitching definition and I know for my son men like the thinner um, the thinner textured of uh, the crochet fabric not the crochet knit fabric um, for hats versus the crocheted for whatever reason I'm not sure but um, knitted hats seem to go over better for the um, men in my life then I made um, a couple of hats for work colleagues okay this is one for um, a work colleague and his son okay this is also this is a softer um, this is uh, a softer line brand yarn it's their ombre I think it's low tide ombre um, but it's a much much softer much thinner yarn in um, not sure if it's being picked up correctly but it's the color is like a gray a very an ombre gray with little flecks of white in it and darker gray in it um, um, the feel of it is just awesome I am a big fan of lion brand yarns okay uh, there are those and then let me see what else I can show you ah so I have one I made in a teal um, and that one I think I'm probably going to keep for myself. Um, this one, I, I'm not a big palm person, so let me put that aside. Then I have these, um, this is an ear warmer and some gloves, okay? And this I made with ice yarn that I got from my Christmas in July fairy, um, Julie, Julie Esper. She was amazing, beautiful. Um, she gave me a big, big bag. It was just beautiful yarns in it, a lot of ice yarn, which I haven't really tried yet. Um, and this, this um, is a wool. What I like doing is when I have a little bit of like a yarn left over, you know, the magic gloves that you can get are often too short, but they're convenient. Um, I do like them just a little bit of coverage on your hand and I like putting a cuff on them so that you can tuck them in and makes them easier to turn on and off and then it gives you a little bit a matching gift set anyway so that's that set um, and then I I received a lovely gift of so no nope. did I find yep here it is a lovely gift of some um, knit crate yarn from Cami, which is Dolly um, Dolly Face Knits, and this is an, an ear warmer I made myself out of their wool. So let me put that aside. Um, and what else do I want to show you? So I have. Oh, okay. So I have some additional hats that I made using. I love this yarn, which really knits up great. Okay, makes great slatchy hats. So there are two that I did, which is, this is in, I think, the harvest color. Um, I have to, I will have to look up the color on them. And one, I had a mauvey pom-pom, which I put on that one, okay, to pick up the little bit of mauvey pattern in that hat. And then this one was a little bit darker, so I have sort of a nice big plush, okay, um, sort of um, a light cocoa-ish for that one. I'll put those aside. I have a couple that I did with a lavender gradient or a purple gradient, and I put um, uh, great pom-poms on those. So here's one, and then here is a second one that I did um, for friends and colleagues. So as you can see, one of them came out with a little bit more of the lighter gradient and the darker band, and the other one um, exactly the reverse, a lighter band and a darker on top. So there are, um, there are those hats. So I will move those aside. I've been big into hats and ear warmers. I have a, this is just a plain purple Vanish Choice one with a nice big gray pom-pom on it. Uh, let me move 
those over. This one and some of these, if you're interested, I don't know, they will be available for sale. I am actually trying to raise money for the American Cancer Society. So if you haven't had a chance to make your own and you're interested in um, one of my hats, just uh, let me know and um, you can DM me on Instagram. I'm under Runaway Hook. My company will match um, up to, I think it's 1,500 pounds, okay? Do company matching. So my plan is hopefully to raise as much as I can over the course of the year and then put in for it to for company matching anyway. So there's a, a purple beanie. This again, I believe, is the Vanna's Choice, which I love. And the, the palms are removable. This is on um, a button on top. Okay, there's that one. Uh, this is another one with, is this the same? Let me see. No, one has got a lighter palm and the other one has got a darker palm. And this one is a little bit smaller palm and a little less slouchy hat. But basically, same hat. I like sort of like doing things in collections, okay? And here are two ear warmers I did. This is with a uh, Stitch Studio by Nicole. Um, one is more of a headband because it's a little bit thinner. And the other one is um, an ear warmer. It's a little bit thicker. So there are those two. Okay. And I have a nice pink hat, which I haven't put a palm yet. I've been debating on it. Nice big hot pink hat. I think I'm going to throw a big, big white fluffy palm on that one. Um, there's that one. And what else do I want to show you? I have a blue one that I did. Um, this is with um, Red Heart. Red Heart. And oh, the white I have been using is the Nicole, Nicole Classic White from AC Moore. This is another... Um, hat with without it's right now it's currently palmless i'm not sure because it can be unisex so whether or not i'm going to put a palm on that one and what else do i want to show you ah okay so here are ah okay so two other hats okay this is with a a red heart um, with a, I think this is a red heart with a Vanna's choice, um, on the trim. And then this is a simply soft one, um, with the Nicole classic, um, stitch studio, um, white on the bottom of it, um, everywhere. It's fallen hats all over the place. Okay. No palm yet on this one. Um, I guess I'm running a little bit low on palms. And then I have um, something I've been doing for a while and I've been teaching um, my students in my class is, is I like, um, I teach at my job and um, one of the projects that we were making were the soap savers shaped like fish, okay? So here's a soap saver. Um, shaped like a little goldfish and it's got a, a matching C to C washcloth. I love sort of doing things in sets so that you can see. Okay. And then I have one that I did, which is a, so that was using, this was using a, um, a Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton yarn. This is using a, um, I'm not sure, Lilies and Cream, I think, yarn. And this is a Red Heart Scrubby. And this goldfish, I put a face on him, okay? Um, and as, once again, a soap saver bag. You know, you uncinch where the tail is, okay? And this was one of my projects for my students. Um, and then you put your leftover pieces of soap in it or your bars of soap in it and then 
by just pulling the strings or the um, chains, you know, you make his tail a little bit pronounced. In the earlier I was ones I was making, I was making a big tail, but that got in sort of the way it was oh, a waste. So, but um, and then I have some that I've done in, so that's the yellow guy. And then I have another one that I've done in, this is a Premier Cotton. Um, and here's one that's done in a blue scrubby. Um, and he doesn't have a face. Um, they don't necessarily all need faces, but I got a kick out of them. And Here's a matching washcloth for that. I have a bunch of washcloths that I have done. So here are some more done with, I believe, the peaches and cream. One I did with just the peaches and cream. And the other one I did, and I in between the peaches and cream, I have a splash, a Premier Cotton splash, which is... 85 cotton, uh, 15 acrylic, I believe. Anyway, so that's that set too. I have uh, a couple that I did with the, the infamous Christmas theme, okay? I I love C to C for these washcloths or dishcloths. Um, and I love putting up the, the little hooks so that you can hang them, which make them easier to dry. And they are 100% cotton. I think they are 100% cotton. I have to double check. And then I have this one, which is like a big bath one. Okay. Not kitchen because there's a little bit of glitter in this one. Um, so, but it certainly is pretty. It makes for a nice, nice big washcloth um, for that one. And I trim this one with the crab stitch. And I later decided that, you know, it really isn't necessary to trim them. Um, as you can see, you really do get a pretty nice edge with the just using the C2C stitch. Um, so there's that one. And uh, I think that's about it. I have a whole bunch of ear warmers that I'm going to show you. But let me leave you at a look at my little fishy. I love the little fishies. Uh, um, they work up quick. They are a very practical gift. Um, so, and so I'll leave my last shot with my three little fishies. Um, and again, you can use these, actually, you can put your hand in them and use them as pot scrubbers. You can use them in the bathroom, okay, to put your soap saver in them, which is where I prefer to use them. The, um, you can hang them off of your, your faucet or your shower rack. Um, you can also hang them off of your um, soap, depending on your soap dispenser. Anyway, or in the kitchen, you can hang them off of your dish soap. Your, anyway. And I keep on saying anyway, but at least it's better than the um. So I guess I'm improving a little bit. I hope you enjoy taking a look at some of these projects. I will hopefully make another video with some more of them so you can see the rest of the ones that I didn't have a chance to pull out for you. Um, and if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer whatever questions. The little soap um, things are my own design. The, um, I mean, these are just C2C squares, okay, for the potholes or just in the washcloth, which make it easy. And I don't like using, um, I really don't like using the double pointed needles. So I pretty much knit mostly tubes or if I do not knit a tube, then I am making it maybe a messy bun hat and crocheting the top of it off. Um, anyway, um, and I do with my knitting, I use circular needles. I use a knit loom. I, uh, you know, um, knit a variety of different ways. I am not a knitter. I am a crocheter. Um, but every year I try to keep up with some knitting so I keep my consistency. Um, so, you know, usually the first couple of hats that I do are a little bit 
my stitches are not as clean and as crisp and I don't get as much stitch definition as I would like and then they get a little bit better as I go I just don't want to lose that skill um yeah I, I I'm not I, I don't do really any complicated knitted patterns but because guys tend to like knit hats better than crocheted ones and you know if you knit using like the thinner yarn you can get a, a finer texture and they seem to like that um, best anyway thanks so much if you've listened so far i hope you've had a nice holiday and i will um say goodbye have a great day take care